good night good morning wherever you are it's a wonderful day or night we want to thank god for such a wonderful moment granting us the opportunity to commune with him tonight we are still looking at the acts of the apostles yesterday or yesterday night we went through chapter 25 paul or saul is still defending himself before the authorities tonight paul gets to ken agrippa and still defends himself and his role as an apostle so we're going straight to verse 1 to 23 my name is pastor richmond i want to thank you for being part of this journey very soon we end the journey and then we will pursue further can you try and go through we started by looking at the resurrection of jesus the coming of the holy spirit that is what god or jesus promised the work of the holy spirit and then paul's work through the acts of the apostles or paul's work as an apostle we, we saw or we can see that most of the chapters are covering the works of paul we cannot also ignore people who helped Paul. People like Ananias who had to pray for him. People like Barnabas. People like John Mark. And the rest. Priscilla, Aquila, Peter, and, the, and all the apostles. Alright, so. Paul now demonstrate or tell us about his background as a Pharisee, how he persecuted the early Christians, his role in the imprisonment of the believers, and then even getting injunction and then getting others to warrant their death. Paul described how he encountered jesus christ the raising jesus on his way to damascus where he became blind and then receiving his commission to preach the gospel to both the jewish and the gentiles application paul's testimony before king agrippa served as a powerful example of bold and uncompromising witness for christ it challenges us to share our own testimony of god's work in our lives with courage and conviction trusting the holy spirit to use our words to bring about transformation in the heart of others we should not be ashamed of the gospel but instead proclaim it boldly knowing that it has the power to save and change lives Verse 24 to 32, as Paul continues to defend himself, Festus interrupts, telling him he is out of his mind. Paul responds by appealing to Agrippa, by quoting some scriptures, affirming his belief in the fulfillment of God's promise through Jesus Christ. Then Paul had to conclude by inviting Agrippa and all those present to become followers of Christ. He expressed his desire for them to experience the same freedom and salvation that he has found in Jesus. Application Paul's invitation to King Agrippa and the others presents challenge, presents, sorry, challenges us to proclaim the gospel boldly, 
to all people, regardless of their social status or background. It reminds us that salvation is available to everyone who believes in Jesus Christ. And it is our privilege and responsibility to share this message with others. We should seize every opportunity to share the hope of salvation with those around us, trusting in God's power to draw people to himself. Acts chapter 26 demonstrates Paul's unwavering commitment to proclaiming the gospel's message. Even in the face of opposition and persecution, it challenges us to follow his example by boldly sharing our faith with others and inviting them to experience the life-transforming power of Jesus Christ. As we faithfully testify to God's work in our lives and proclaim his truth, we can impact the world for his kingdom and glory. Thank you. We will end here with chapter 26. Very soon we will end with Acts of the Apostles. I want to entreat you to go through and then also give me your feedback. God bless you. May he show his face or may he shine his face upon you and be gracious unto you as we enter into a new week. Blessings. My name is Pastor Richmond. You can still visit me through my website which is pastormanqua.com. Bye-bye and see you, God willing, tomorrow.